Hello boys and girls, welcome back to part 7 of the EJ25 build for the 06 STI. In today's video, I'm going to torque down the cam, exhaust and intake sprocket bolts. Timing cover goes back on. Engine mounts. I actually installed the engine mounts the other way around. I'm going to realize it when I'm going to be installing the engine. I'm going to have to rotate them 180 degrees later on and also the second half of the video is going to be mostly about your PCV system positive crank venting system and oil catch cans and as always like subscribe comment thanks enjoy okay so the clearance on this needs to be 0 0.05 or one millimeter I think half a millimeter is as close as you can get so I'm actually gonna push it away as much as I can I'm gonna take my filler gauge and take 20.25 and 0.24 together make it a 0.49 it does not fit which means it's too tight so does that mean I can't use it so looking at the instructions okay you need Loctite blue glue make sure there is a 0.04 Okay, so I can go to 0 0.04, okay? So let's change these to, let's go 0.21 and 0 0.20. Okay, this is better. No, it still doesn't fit. I don't know, I'm kind of scared to, to use this. It's very close. Let's see if a credit card will work. All right, so I got a card. Okay, it goes in, no issues. I suppose I could drill the holes out a tiny bit to give me more clearance. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because uh, 0 0.205, half of what I need is not enough for me. I'm afraid the belt will wander and it will keep sliding or scraping this and eventually break. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill these out just a hair. Be right back. And we're back. These are slightly bigger now. I can already see the gap is, is much bigger, still a bit tight. So 0 0.02 and 0 0.021. Okay, it goes in here, goes in here, but doesn't go here. So I would need a tiny bit more here, or maybe just leave it. It goes in here. I mean, it wants to, it's very close. Let's see, point, point zero 0.039. Very close. What do you think? Drill it out more? or leave it. I'm gonna to have to drill it out more. It would not be able to sleep. Oh yeah, this was 0 0.032 and this is 0 0.041. Just above the minimum, which is fine with me. All right, tighten one a bit more so it doesn't move. Remove the other. Some glue, glue or Loctite, but it's, it's really it's glue. A good amount, we don't want this thing coming out. Torque was 60 to 65 inches of torque. So I'm gonna go 65, which is barely something. And there we go. And that's what we've got. A nice even gap. So that's the timing, boys and girls. Done. Now you can torque down the um, the, the cam sprocket bolts. Back off a tiny bit. So the first step is 22.1 on all four. So I'm gonna do 22, change it to inches, 22.1. Okay, and now 45 degrees. That was 91.6. See, it slips too easily. Kind of sucks. 37 degrees, 110. Something's not right. 
I'm going to do this one again. Okay, this is what I, what I came up with. Let's see if it's gonna work. I already torqued it down to 22.1. So now it's the 45 degree angle. Ah, shit. It's not gonna work for the exhaust sprockets. I'm going to, have to leave this for now and think of a, think of a better way. Now that's that's out of the way, I can put back these caps on the cam sprockets. These are 8 mil. I believe the torque to be 4.7. I'm gonna do 5 because that's the lowest setting on my torque wrench. Could be less than that, but could not find any solid information. Coolant crossover pipe. Uh -huh, I see a problem. I'm gonna have to move the oil pressure switch to its original spot where it was on the 06 block. So I guess they did change the crossover pipe in 08. We need foot pounds of torque. That was just a guess. You know what? Now that I have RTV radio, I'm going to put a little bit here. I was going to go with RTV on the plug as well, but on second thought, I'm going to use red glue. 38 in the plug. Alright, back to the crossover pipe. Much better. I had to clean the threads off on these. Torque on these is 8.7, I'm doing 9. Time for the engine mounts. Alright, this one has an L, L on it. So left side, so uh, driver's side. Actually this head is LH, so that's left hand. So it's probably gonna go here. I wonder if they would fit both sides. No, can't get them mixed up. These, by the way, are um, Cusco, I think, Cusco mounts. I got them oh, 12 years ago or so, long time. Torque on these is 25.8. See how far... 
you got you want to you really want to recheck if you have bolts with uh, lock washers you want to recheck them a few times all right the intake is not mounted yet just making final adjustments i did have to move these screws around because they were hitting the coolant pipe here and also these fuel lines were also hitting the cross pipe so i had to bend these up which was no issue at all but now what i gotta do i want to get rid of the uh, coolant passing through the throttle body this is only to heat up the engine quicker so i don't need that on the track obviously so i'm going to cap these this part off and where's the other one and this here I'm just going to put caps on it and then i'm probably i'm going to get rid of this line because this this hooks up this hooks up here so i'm going to get rid of this line right there that connects to the um to this hard line here these are your heater core uh, lines for your um for your heater so i'm going to use this line that goes connects to the throttle body here i'm going to connect it to where this one is so that's just going to keep flowing also i am not doing the uh, factory oil catch uh, system the pvc pcv i'm not using the factory one i'm going to install three catch cans yes three of them so one for each head and one for the block so i am not reusing these factory lines at all this stuff here all this so i actually have six connections i have to do these two this one this one and these two here all right check this out so this is your pcv system positive crankcase ventilation system remember remember uh, before i was talking about uh, the two openings on each head then uh, two more on the block which is this one here and another one there so that's your pc uh, pcv valve right here this guy connects to the intake manifold which is right here that's the that's the this is the back of the intake manifold ignore this pipe here this from here 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 and down there to the water pump this is the coolant passage this actually connects to the uh, little pressurized tank right here so as you can see these uh these are I believe are, are five eighths the male ends coming out of the both heads the bigger one is five eighths the smaller one is half inch these five eighths are connected to each other this is also 5 eighths, the one on the block. The bigger one here, that's 3 fourths. So the 5 eighths are just connected to each other. 1, 2, and 3. Um, I'm going to take a good guess just to equalize the pressure between the two heads and the crankcase. But the smaller, the half inch one, this attaches right here with the three 10 mil screws these these lines attach to the intercooler as you can see they go across and they connect to each other here and then here and then here back into the intake this is your original turbo inlet pipe so the vacuum that's created inside this pipe it sucks in when this valve opens it sucks in the uh, gases that are created uh, inside the heads and the, the crankcase. Same thing happens over here. There's a vacuum here. So whenever uh, the pressure is too great inside the, the crankcase, the valve opens. And this also, the vacuum created inside the turbo inlet pipe, uh, helps it uh, suck it in. This here connects to your blowout valve. Uh, remember the intercooler is right here so the blowout valve I, I believe it's like somewhere over here so there's a pipe going into here i'm either gonna connect these two to one pipe and go into the one catch can then connect these two one catch can and then these two one catch can or 
I may just leave uh, what is it? These the, the five eighths, since these are just to equalize the pressure between the three. I may just leave this this piping here, get rid of this, and connect one line to each catch can. And this is what the catch can looks like. So this is your inlet here, and that's your out. This I, I'm gonna plug, put a plug on it, just like that. Also. I don't have to uh, unscrew the can to check the level of the garbage that collects inside. You got a little dipstick over here, which is a nice feature. Let's see what it looks like inside. You see your, you see your basic uh, container. So you can see the inlet. It's right here and a little, well, I was going to call it mesh, but you know, a little filter, I guess, whatever. That would keep the, um, the contaminated oil from uh, going back into the um, engine and this will yes it will go out into the atmosphere that's the whole point so it doesn't go back into the engine out into the atmosphere so that's how that's gonna look different uh, sizes of fittings whatever lines I'm gonna use so this so this all came with in one box and I got two more here now why would you need a PCV system what happens is when as the oil heats up it, it uh, you know at, at high temperatures it will even evaporate a little bit uh, create some kind of gases um, inside the crankcase also when the combustion part happens not everything goes out into the exhaust exhaust manifold in this case some of the exhaust gases uh, fuel gets through the piston rings and uh, gets into the oil so but since the, uh, the 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 burning temperature of fuel is much lower it will evaporate so with all that all those gases that are created uh, inside the crankcase though though that needs to go somewhere okay if you don't have a if if you were to block the the block and, and the heads those gases would would find its way somewhere even e either back through the piston rings any of the oil seals gaskets whatever it would it would find its way out so to prevent and then then you would end up with um, oil leaks and, and all kinds of problems the engine would every single engine needs a PCV system of some sort some kind of an oil catch can system some uh, you know some some venting form uh, you know, back in the old days, uh, I guess uh, cars, classic cars, classic muscle cars have those little filters on, on top of their valve covers. That's so the gases inside can evaporate through those little filters. You know, something like like this. So the benefit of an oil catch can, what I'm going to be doing, is basically so in this system here, all of those gases that are coming out get back into your intake and back into your combustion chamber again but it's already that air is already contaminated it's already dirty it's 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 basically exhaust and your engine is burning that again so obviously it's not good it's good for the environment but it's not good for your engine so with this kind of setup where the uh, the gases are vented into the atmosphere you know the, the the name tells it all no more dirty exhaust gases going back into your engine they're out they're going out into the atmosphere which helps your engine breathe better and cleaner and that's the whole point keep your engine clean inside okay so what I decided to do I'm gonna get rid of these or these lines I'm gonna leave uh, obviously the coolant line and since the the two heads and, and the block the crankcase are just connected just to equalize the pressure I'm going to leave that so I won't be cutting any of these lines so I'm going to remove the, the turbo inlet pipe these lines and the, the whole PCV valve and that's it this is gonna this is not gonna be on the car any longer I am going to reuse this shirt hose and we'll see on the other two. Remember I was talking about the, uh, the, the 
coolant that passes through the throttle body from here to here this is only to uh, the warm coolant passes through so the air going into the engine uh, is warmer so it heats up the engine a little bit faster and then once it's once the coolant is hot well it, it keeps on warming up that air and that's what we do not want so a simple fix I'm gonna remove one of these lines either uh, this one or that one let's remove this one and simply connect this one here just to close the loop easiest mod ever all right so i removed this clip here i'm going to reuse it so this is going to go here check out this tool cutters here i don't know this might be a punch made in the usa I'm guessing maybe 80s or even 70s perfect for this now this adapter here this is quite big this is three quarters by the way okay much better I'm going to remove these two All right, so this part of the PCV system is done along with the coolant pipe. So the catch cans, I will connect once, I, once the engine is in, I'm gonna figure out where I wanna mount the three catch cans. And it's just gonna be a matter of connecting each, each uh, head and the block. That's exactly how that's gonna look. And this is gonna be mounted somewhere in the engine compartment. So I will get heater hoses like this one here but that's later now it's time for the intake manifold <laughs> 